Hi, I'm Manish. I'm the general manager of NH Collection Dubai The Palm. We opened our hotel uh, 1st of February uh, this year. Congratulations, Manish, and thank you for giving Breaking Travel News some time here at ITB Berlin. Isn't it great to be back? Oh, it's fantastic. It's so good to see people after nearly three years. Uh, last one was 2019 where uh, we met everyone and then, you know, COVID hit. And now seeing everyone again face to face, it's so, I'm so glad to meet everyone. So much has changed. Give us an update. A uh, lot of things have changed. You know, uh, when COVID hit, uh, everybody was saying that tourism will change, how people are going to travel, everything would change. But if you really look at it, uh, nothing. Tourism, we, we are into human business. Uh, people want to see people, right? So nothing has changed if I look at it, uh, what it was uh, predicted before COVID. Uh, good to see that uh, 2019 numbers, that's the target of everyone uh, post-COVID. And most of the hotels are achieving that. Uh, so yeah, I'm really glad to see things are moving in the right direction. And what's your message to the travel trade here at ITB? Uh, you know, uh, for ITB, for, for Dubai as a destination, UK and Germany is always the key feeder market. I still think that's going to be there. Uh, if you look at it now, uh, UK is number one. Uh, Germany is coming in as well. We are here. We had some really, really great meetings. Uh, a lot of positive uh, feedback from our trade partners. Uh, so looking forward that summer would be very interesting. The only challenge I look at it now is the fare, air fare, uh, which uh, I think is not going down. And that's where a little bit of reluctance from people to travel. Uh, you see Asia is coming up. But I think Dubai will always be favorite for all the tourists. And what is it about Dubai that, that, that makes it a favorite? I mean, uh, come on, I mean, Dubai is uh, Dubai, as you say, you know, come to Dubai, Habibi. Uh, Dubai never sleeps at uh, Dubai. Uh, I remember four or five years back, you know, when Dubai was coming up, that, okay, Burj Khalifa, after that, what, uh, the, what going to come, then Palm Island, Mu Museum of Future, and there's so many, it's so many plans, if you look at it, Dubai, uh, so many projects coming up now. World Island opened up, and Anantara was the first one to open the hotel now. I uh, hear a few more hotels coming up. So there are so many projects coming up. Dubai is not here uh, to die. Dubai is here to stay, uh, so a lot of activities happening here. Tell us about your properties. Uh, my property is uh, it's the first uh, NH property in UAE, NH collection, which we opened 1st February, as I men mentioned, 532 Keys. Uh, great location. Uh, location is the key. We are right at the trunk of Palm, opposite Nakhil Mall. Uh, right, perfect access to West Beach. Uh, we have uh, 11 room ca categories and a great uh, dining venue, five dining venues, which includes a beautiful roof, uh, rooftop lounge. Uh, which is seen, which is our brand. It's a minor hotel brand. We are opening a beach club, which will be by June or July. Uh, so quite a lot of dining uh, options. So that's what our property is. Wow, fantastic. And what's the guest experience like? Uh, we opened uh, now nearly six weeks now. Yeah. Uh, if I look at it online and meeting a lot of guests, a very, very positive feedback, a brand new property, uh, really, really good. They're all happy with the service and all. And that's what I think we are focusing on, on the service, guest experience. So very positive feedback. That's fantastic. Congratulations. Thank you. And, and really, who, who's the audience for the property? Uh, for the month of uh, February, I would say Russia was number one, yeah. uh, CIS, and then followed by Israel, uh, UK, and then Germany. So, Wow, thank you so much for giving us your time today. Uh, thank you. It's a pleasure uh, seeing you all again. And thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate it.